Alright, I'm at Dash Point State Park on the uh, Hoyt Road Trailhead. Let me tell you, this was a this was a pain today. I spent 45 minutes just trying to take care of things that sh that I should have been able to use the kiosk, but uh, I have no idea what to expect. The kiosk to pay to get a Discover Pass wasn't working right. You're supposed to be able to get a uh, a year pass and it was going to charge me $30 for a year pass for all the state parks, right? And you know, it says, oh, expires on uh, basically the end of this month, you know, this year, 2020. I'm like, no, that's not right. So I had to go to the their office. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Doing alright, how about you? Happy day. Beautiful day. It is. So they took they took care of my my issues at the office, although the office was technically supposed to be closed, but they uh, they were nice enough to to open it for I mean I knocked on the on the door for the employees only door because I heard someone in there and and they were able to help me but then the issue of trying to find the trailhead I didn't want to go to the really busy one that was by the beach I mean I can't even count how many cars were there and I wanted to go to the uh, the one that that wasn't so busy so where does this go and uh, so I got told oh uh, yeah go out of the you know oh no you, you can you can't park in this area unless you're camping okay so go to the uh, exit this area and and make a right onto Hoyt Road well there was was no Hoyt Road it's not labeled as Hoyt Road it's labeled as 47th Ave or 47th Street so then I went back she explained some more still didn't make any sense Oh, well, okay. Well, neat little offshoot trail, wasn't it? She says, well, I don't know how, how else to explain it to you. And I'm, and I'm saying, is it labeled Hoyt Road? Oh, it's Hoyt Road. Well, it might be, and she finally tells me, oh, it might be labeled uh, 47th Street, 47th Ave. So... I eventually got things going, so I'm here now, and I'll be able to continue to come back to the state parks, because I have a year pass now. So, I'll stop complaining and let you enjoy the, the walk. Well, I didn't have my mask with me. I should have. I guess I could go back to the van and grab it, but... Well, I don't want to get lost either, though. Hmm. 
Well, don't know which way to go. Hello. Up a jogger. Hold on. <gasps> a little too dark, isn't it? Well, there's that way to go, but I'm going to go this way. Need to remember that after the big log on the way back, after that big log that will be on my left side, I'll need to make a right turn. This is really beautiful. Wish I could share it with someone. But that's what, uh, that's what recording this in some ways is about. I'm able to share it with people. Bicycles, huh? Okay. This would be a nice bike trail, that's for sure. got the song Girl from Ipanema going through my head. I was watching a video, I don't know, sometime last week, talking about how weird the song is musically. Wow. Let's keep going in a straight line.
But yeah, part B, you know, you got, its songs have typically songs, the, the verses are part A, the choruses are part B, the bridge is part C. And, uh, part B of The Girl from Ipanema is a very unusual progression. You don't really think about it that much when listening, but it's very unusual. Yeah, I'm glad I chose this way versus the trails by the beach. Because that would have been really crowded. And I'm trying to physically distance as much as I can. Hello. Yeah, I need to come here in the morning. Be nice to be here at like six or something, but apparently it only opens at eight, but I might try to come here technically before it opens. I don't know. Oh wow, this is really, this section is really cool. I'm not used to being somewhere that has so much high growth on the sides, but so well maintained on the trail itself. It's pretty neat. Wonder what kind of boat or ship that was, making that kind of horn. Be weird if someone put a boat horn in a in an automobile. I mean, yeah, I hear of people putting semi horns in their in their cars and freaking people out, but. What would people think of a boat horn? Probably illegal, illegal. But I think a semi horn would be illegal on a on a regular automobile too. So automobile
I did want to get a start on the trail quite a bit earlier. I didn't think any of this would take so long. But, uh... I, uh... I've been getting to bed around three or four, and at the time of recording this, it's about three, so... I should have done all of this much earlier. Okay. Well, upper loop trailhead, little kiosk thing. Um, here are a lot of the camping spots. Didn't expect to, to get to this so soon. Um, so, all right. Maybe I will take, uh, one of the other turns on the trail. Well, here's this one. Fern Alley. Let's look. It's a little bright, isn't it? Now it's a little dark. You know, in the cooler parts of the year, taking the trails that are closer to the beach will be quite feasible while still being able to social distance. My god, this is pretty. Yeah, again, not so not used to such high growth on the sides with such a well-maintained trail in the center.
so many ferns. Of course, a lot of places in the Puget Sound area have a lot of ferns. Well, bit of an uphill here. Camera's giving me that message that it's getting warm. Yeah, I should probably... should probably start heading back, but I'm just glad that I have the... Uh, the Discover Pass. So I can come here anytime I want now. Well, during park hours, but... Ah, and it's on this trail they say no bicycles. Let's pan on this again. Not overexposed this time, right? Yeah, this is quite beautiful. Don't know how much longer the camera will record this session. Do wish I had a uh,
an A6400 where I wouldn't have to worry about that. I may get one sometime. It also does better on the uh, low light scenarios too. Can have higher ISO values without being grainy. I'm grainy Smurf. All right. I'm picturing a smurf that uh, looks all grainy all the time. Hello. Like there's a movie, oh now I can't remember his name. A Woody Allen movie. There's this miniature skit where uh, a character is out of focus. And, that's, and the whole skit is, you know, the, the <laughs> that character is literally in the camera out of focus while everyone else is in focus. It was just kind of funny. Wish I could remember the name of that movie. I like the how on that movie too. Um, when someone goes up to make a speech, everything that the speech is supposed to be about is cut out, and all they show are the awkward moments of the speech. Just clips right to it. And then other parts of the movie, they clip out all of the silent uncomfortable moments. So it's just it's just an interesting mix of the way that the movie was edited. <clears throat> Made it really entertaining to me. All right, well, it stopped recording, not necessarily because the camera got too hot, but because it got to that time limit. Let it cool down for just a couple minutes, probably not enough, but I'm uh, recording again anyway now. We'll see how long it's able to.
I should have darkened that for that moment. Yeah, I still got that song stuck in my head. <laughs> And the heat indicator is coming. Yeah, it got too hot and uh, shut down. And here's that uh, that log, which means I need to go right. And this should take me the right way. Just kind of being mean to my camera, but. Hello. 
Hello. Well, I'm back at the uh, the actual trailhead, and uh, 47th Street trailhead. So, I guess that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.